you can see here all the cows, they're chewing their cud, they're as comfortable as can be, and they've had a big belly of, of, of high quality forage that they've grazed, and it's really, truly happy cow, it's really a true thing, happy cow in the 12 April's dairy. And they milk about, today, I think we're about 77 pounds per head per day average, and that's uh, for a grazing herd, but grazing grass, they wouldn't be doing that, but grazing April quality forage is, is the whole, a whole big difference right there. On our cows now, after grazing this afternoon, about 2, 2 o'clock, 2.30, they'll go back and graze for a while. Then they'll head to the barn at 3.30, and you can almost time them, but they'll come into the barn, go up these steps one at a time, and be milked. By the way, they knock on the door. They're very polite cows. But they'll come up the steps, knock on the door, the door opens, and we take them in to be milked and come on this way. All right, the cows come in the back door. I open this gate. The cow walks into the stall. Close the gate. Now she's in here, so now it's time to milk. Our milking machine right here, and we will, uh, first of all, we, we have a dip of sanitizer for the teat to where we make sure the teat is very clean and uh, no mastitis or anything like that. Then we put the machine on the cow and at, when she finishes milking out, the machine will automatically come off. Ooh but when you put it on the cow, you bring the machine over here and put it on the cow, and after she's finished milking and no more milk flow, then again, it cuts off. Good, it cuts off. Then we let the cow out. She's headed out to drink water. Water, cows need water more after milking than any other, than any other time. So we've had a 500 gallon water tank and they would run it dry. So what we've done now, we have a 40 foot water trough. And they, all the cows, as they're being milked, get their water. And we went up two pounds of milk when we installed that. So it's told us something right there. All right, after that, the milk goes from the milk machine into the line here, stainless steel line all the way down to the end of the barn. Then it goes up and it's pumped into our milk tank, 2,000 gallon milk tank. It's being pumped into that. And we can go in here if you like. Come on out. The milk's already been uh, taken out today to be bottled. It's, we're being bottled as we speak. But this is the 2,000 gallon tank. It comes in, goes in here, and, and 36 degrees. And then when we feed, we get it up here and put it up on this pipe and pump it over into the harvest store. From the cow's teat, 48 feet, to the harvest store silo, which is the only one in the world that's been converted to a, to a, to a bobbin plant. Here's our harvest store where the milk comes in. <clears throat> we'll walk in here and the first thing you'll see is a 500 gallon old timey vat pasteurizer. We do pasteurize the milk at a low temperature so there's no chance of brucellosis or TB, but only at 145 we have plenty of enzymes left, more than most anyhow. So, here is, we'll come in here and watch what's the meal. All right. Okay, here's the 500 gallon and the 300 gallon. When it's finished here, it goes into the chiller and goes down to the other pump. As the milk leaves a low temp pasteurizer, it goes to a chiller, getting back to 36 degrees. Then it comes here to this filler right here, and we, it'll, it can bottle a gallon every four seconds. I was told that was a dinosaur, and I said a dinosaur is doing it, so everything's okay. These, these milk, this milk here is just, I mean, was in a cow this morning. We have now accomplished from the cow's teeth 48 feet to this model. There's no milk like ours. Happy cow.